we want to find the antiderivative or evaluate the indef integral. Let's begin by factoring out the nine and write this as nine times integral of x to the fifth cosine squared x to the sixth dx. And now because we have x to the sixth here and x to the fifth here, we'll perform u substitution and we'll let u equal x to the sixth and therefore differential u is equal to six x to the fifth dx. And since we have x to the fifth dx, let's divide both sides by six. And therefore, one sixth differential u is equal to x to the fifth dx. And now let's write this in terms of u. So we'll have nine times the integral of x to the fifth dx, again, is equal to one sixth du. So we'll factor out the one sixth and we have differential u and x to the sixth is equal to u. So we have the integral of cosine squared u. Now we've made some progress here, but we don't have an integration formula for cosine squared u, so we'll have to apply the power reducing formula given here below, where if we have cosine squared u, that's equal to one half times the quantity, one plus cosine two u. So we have nine sixths here, which is three halves, times the integral of, when we perform this substitution, notice how we'll have a factor of one half, which we'll factor out. So we have three halves times one half times the integral of the quantity one plus cosine two u. And now we'll find the antiderivative with respect to u. Notice here we have three fourths. The antiderivative of one with respect to u would just be u. Now we need to be careful when integrating cosine two u. This would require a substitution. We've already used u, so if we use v and let v equal two u, notice that dv is equal to two du, and therefore notice that du equals one half dv. So we'd have an extra factor of one half when integrating. So we'll have plus one half times the integral of cosine v, which would be sine v, and we know v is equal to two u. So we have one half sine two u, and then plus c. So writing this in terms of x, we would have three fourths times u, which is x to the sixth, plus, here we have three fourths times one half, that would be three eighths, sine two u, which is two x to the sixth. This would be our antiderivative. I hope you found this helpful.